Hey there my peeps, Sam. welcome to part 3 of Christian vs Randy Orton at the Wrestlemania Arena. The online matchup continues, we've hit each other with a bunch of finishers, and we're getting closer and closer to the end of this matchup. I posted up part 1, part 2, which you can both watch on my channel. If you haven't watched those, make sure to watch both part 1 and part 2 first before checking this one out. So go check them out if you haven't, and then come back to part three. Now after part three, there's one last part. That's right, one more part. For this one more part, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys when I actually post it up. By the way, check this out right here. Christian goes in the air. Anyways, yeah, I decided that I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys have the power to determine when part four gets posted up. It's simple. I'm setting a goal of 50 likes, 50 thumbs up for this video for part three of Christian vs. Randy Orton. Once this video reaches 50 likes, I'll post up part four the very same day. So, you know, that's a, you know, I'd say a pretty reasonable bulk goal. It's, it's easily attainable. Simply, if you like the video, as you're watching this, just click that like button down below, and uh, it's as simple as that, really, it takes a second, so... Anyways, moving on, last time, part two, I was talking about how... And, and I kind of, you know, talked about this subject, I touched on this subject, subject, sorry, in the raw review, raw results video that I posted up. In part two, I was talking about how I wanted to see a feud and a series of matches between Randy and Christian, like, right now, or at this moment, where, I, where Randy is a heel, he's a, he's a champion, and Christian is a face. And the day right after I posted that video, the day later, it freaking happened on Monday, it, it happened on Raw, you had Christian versus Randy Orton, I was really happy, but at the same time, you know, I was, I was hoping Christian would win. Christian has never, ever, being Randy Orton one on one, he's never pinned him one on one. He's pinned him in a triple threat match just recently. He's beaten him in a tag team matchup. He's beaten him by disqualification. But as far as pinning him one on one, it's never happened. Now he's hoping it it would happen on on Raw. Although you know it it, it makes a lot more sense that Randy won the match. It's, I mean, he's the champion, he should be winning the matchup, but, but, you know, I, I am a Christian fan, I'm a fan of Christian, so, I was just hoping for Christian to get that, to finally get his victory against Randy, and I was thinking maybe now that Randy's a heel, and he's feuding with Daniel Bryan, and he took the championship away from Daniel Bryan, I saw maybe an opportunity for, for Bryan to actually interfere in the matchup, maybe. And allow Christian to to beat Randy uh, by roll up by whatever you know. Daniel Bryan could come out, cause the distraction. Christian rolls up, rolls Randy up, and he'd have been Randy right then and there. After I don't know how long. So, you know, I was hoping the the whole match. I was like, come on, please. I hope Daniel Bryan comes out and distracts Randy or something like that, so Christian could win the match. Because I knew that if Danny Bryan wouldn't come out. That it was like a hundred percent sure Randy was going to beat Christian. And although he didn't beat Christian clean, he still beat Christian. Christian still didn't beat Randy. Uh, but nonetheless, it was a good matchup. And I wonder if one day Christian will beat Randy though, <laughs> or if this is gonna be one of those things where this this guy just can't beat the other guy. He just can't beat Randy, and he's never going to beat Randy, I don't know, I guess we'll, I don't know, you know, it might happen, might not happen, who knows, but anyways, as you can see, you know, this matchup just keeps on going, and we've hit so many finishers, we've hit each other with a bunch of finishers, I can't, I don't know, I haven't keep, been keeping counts, but it's a lot of finishers, and it keeps on going, and neither of us has been able to put the other down for the three counts so far. And of course, with me telling you guys that there is a part four, obviously in part three you're not going to see one of us, you know, getting pinned. But as you can see, at this point I'm starting to 
And I'm like, damn, this matchup is freaking long. Yeah, I mean, it's like, so far, it's over 20 minutes. And I'm realizing that I'm probably not going to pin this guy unless, by the way, I'm going for a submission here, but I'm not trying to actually make the guy tap out via regular submission move. That's why I pretty much stopped tapping and press LB to cancel the hold. I was set on trying to win this match with a finisher, with either the, the kill switch or the frog splash finisher. I wasn't going to try and win this match via submission just because it's been over 20 minutes long. It's it's a great matchup and I didn't want a great matchup to have a shitty ending. Now if you, if you, if you look maybe at the Elimination Chamber match I had, one of the Elimination Chamber match I had posted up, I don't remember which one it was, might might have been the first one I posted up for 713, might have been the second one. It's the one where I'm playing as Rock, and in the end, this one guy who was playing as Sin Cara just would not freaking, he would not, he, he wasn't losing. I was freaking go, hitting rock bottom after rock bottom after people's elbow. Freaking finishers, 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 the guy just wouldn't lose, he wasn't and I don't think he hit me with a single finisher. He might have hit me with one finisher maximum. But I hit him with so many finishers. Like half the matchup was just me and this guy. Not this guy in this matchup, but you know, in the Elimination Chamber match, me playing as the Rock and some other guy playing as Sin Cara. Half the matchup was just the Rock and Sin Cara. Just because the guy kept kicking out. In the end, I had to just settle for the sharpshooter. And it took me that long to lock on the sharpshooter and win via submission because I had forgotten that The Rock had the sharpshooter as a signature move. And even then, I didn't end the matchup on just any regular submission move, it was one of The Rock's signature moves, the sharpshooter. Anyways, going further yet again, another spear on Randy right there, and got another finisher, but this time I tried to switch things up and go for the frog splash and I do hit it. So I'm like, alright, I switch it up, maybe I get the pinfall with this, but no. Randy keeps kicking out. This is like, like real life Christian versus Randy, or it, it, it's just Christian can't beat Randy at this moment. You know, I keep going for the pinfall after I'm gonna hit the frog splash, hit the kill switch, but Randy kicked out. And uh, back to what I was. Oh, he hits the RKO. But like I said, this is only part three, and there is part four, so neither of us is getting you know, is losing yet, just yet. But anyways guys, that is it for part 3 of Christian vs. Randy Orton, the epic online matchup. Don't forget guys, the power is in your hands, you guys determine when I post up part 4. Once this video reaches 50 likes, the last and final part of Christian vs. Randy will be posted up. I'm out guys, see ya.